Hey everyone, we're going to be talking about Baba Black Sheep. Um, before we do that though, let's work on our G major scale because that's the key that we're playing for this piece. So set your metronome to 85 beats per minute and um, you can have it on your laptop like I do now or you can pull it up on your phone if you have one or you can have um, an actual metronome that your parents can buy you. But um, we're going to be using um, 85 beats per minute um, for G major scale and it's going to be half notes. So just a quick reminder, we have um, half notes are actually double the value of each click that you hear. So they're twice as long as a quarter note, um, which are you know one beat per metronome click. So here is the G major scale with 85 um, beats per minute at half note. scales um, if you're not comfortable with them it's a good idea to make sure that you use your fingers together for notes and what, what that means is that when you're playing your first finger and going on to your second finger you want to keep your first finger down as you're playing the second finger so think of it like Lego building blocks where you're kind of building each piece so that you can get to the next open string um, and now let's talk a little bit about different sections in Baba Black Sheep uh, before I play the whole piece um, to 85 beats per minute. So the trickiest thing I would say about Baba Black Sheep is probably our fourth finger for violinists like you and I. And that happens um, twice during this piece and that's uh, measure five and also measure seven. So you have four fingers at the beginning of the measures and it's really important to keep your elbow closer to your body, so in towards your body, and that way it'll help you reach that fourth finger on the G string. It may take a little bit um, of time to get used to, but it'll really help if you tuck that elbow in and make sure it's not out. Um, and now let's play a little bit of that fourth finger at measure five. So here, here's measure five. <laughs> Just want to keep your elbow in and make sure you're using a lot of bow to get that nice sound um, and keep your fourth finger nice and tall as curved as you can it's really hard i know because it's our pinky finger but do the best you can and it'll come with time um, now we're going to play baba black sheep the whole song uh, to 85 beats per minute <laughs> So there's Baba Black Sheep to 85 beats per minute. It's important to note that there are no rests during this entire song. So you want to make sure to keep your bow on the string. Don't lift anywhere until the very end of the piece. Um, but that's it. Happy practicing.